What's going on? Welcome back to my channel where I teach mental fitness training. My name is Brandon Epstein and in this video today I'm going to share with you how you can meditate without closing your eyes. So let me get right into this today. Meditation is just a direction of your awareness. So it's very possible to meditate without closing your eyes and I want to dispel the myth that you need to be sitting in quiet somewhere and with your eyes closed and that's the only type of meditation that's out there. The truth of the matter is, when you can begin to direct your awareness, whether it's firmly in the present moment or doing something intentionally with your mind, those are all different types of meditation as well. So I'm going to share with you some of those different types and how you can start doing it today. Because I understand there's some of you out there who are like, ah, I just can't do the whole sit down for 30 minutes thing. And I understand that. There are gains there, but sometimes we have to work to be able to get to that place. So a great place to start is doing something that you fully enveloped in the present moment. Personally, I like to do boxing. When I box, there's nowhere for me to be but the present moment. If I, for even a split second, take my awareness off the present moment, I get hit in the face. And a lot of extreme sport athletes or boxers, martial artists, you understand this. And so those types of things are a type of meditation. And of course, when you do those, you keep your eyes open. And so this is one example of meditating with your eyes open. So I want you to ask yourself, what types of activities or hobbies get you fully immersed in the present? Where you really don't, the, where the stakes are so high that you can't be thinking about what happened in the past, you can't be future based in what's gonna happen next, you have to be in the present. So if you can find something like that, that's one of the greatest ways to start meditating because meditation is all about directing your awareness and really where we want to be where we show up and feel and perform our best is in the present moment so you can even let me know what do you do or what are you going to try to do in the comments below you know whether that's playing music whether that's writing whether that's playing a sport that demands all your attention in the present whatever it is i'd love to hear now the other type of meditation i'm going to talk about is just getting to getting the ability to direct your awareness in any given moment now, if you meditate for 20 minutes a day, that's cool. There's definitely benefits that come with that because when you meditate, you shift out of your sympathetic nervous system into your parasympathetic nervous system, which drops your stress levels and all those stress hormones and gets you back into a state of feeling more peaceful and good. And that's very good hormonally and overall for your body. But if all you're doing is that one meditation session a day and the rest of your day is spent rushing around, feeling stressful, anxious, worried about what's going to happen next, stressed about how you didn't do something right. Well, this is not going to ultimately lead to you living a happy life. And so you could be someone who meditates with your eyes closed every single day and still not be happy. And the reason being is because we need to make meditation a part of our being, a part of who we are. And by meditation, I just mean being able to direct your awareness. And so that's very simple actually. It's about being able to realize that you're going to see something, hear something, smell something, taste something, or touch something. And when you do that, you are instantly going to be focusing with those senses and bringing the present moment into awareness. And so what you can do by actively meditating as you make these internal, internal representations is you can start to get really good at realizing when you hear something, how it makes you feel. When you smell something, how it makes you feel. When you see something, how it makes you feel. Because ultimately, we are constantly in every given moment creating our reality. We're creating a feedback loop with the universe, with God, whatever you believe in, there is a feedback loop happening. And it all is in alignment with where you're focusing your energy. So there's different ways to focus. You focus through your senses. You focus with the images and thoughts you hold in your mind. So if you can get good at focusing and being intentional about where you're focusing, then you are gonna be actively meditating and you don't even have to close your eyes. And this is really where you wanna evolve yourself to be, where in any given moment, you're not going unconscious, you're not becoming unaware of how you're making yourself feel good or bad in any given moment. It's a donkey, we got some beef with this guy back here, by the way. His donkey tried to beat up my dog the other day, so I think he's talking some shit right now. Anyhow, welcome to the Think Alive. So really what I want to get after here with you and what I want to teach to you is that there is a way to bring meditation into just your normal waking state of being. And it all comes down to just being aware of how your sensory experiences are making you feel in any given moment. And so start to notice whenever you feel good or bad, 
What were you focusing on that split second beforehand that made you feel good or bad? By doing this, this is a type of meditation. And there are so many types of meditations. Um, meditation is an giant umbrella filled with so many different things you can do with your consciousness to help yourself perform at a high level, feel better. But this is the tip of the iceberg stuff. So if you want to begin to meditate with your eyes open, I recommend trying out these two things. Number one, doing things that force you into the present moment whether that's engaging in music or sport or whatever it is, sex, whatever it is for you, do more of those things that force you into the present and bring your awareness, awareness into the presence because that's a type of meditation. And number two, start to just gain more awareness around how your wakeful focus is creating your feelings. Okay, that awareness in itself is a type of meditation. And if you like help with this at all, I created a course to literally teach you how to do this, to help you move from a state of unconscious incompetence where you are unaware of how you make yourself feel good or bad in any given moment to a state of unconscious incompetence where you go back in, you rewrite all your subconscious programming in a way that just makes you feel good automatically all the time. It's a four step process to get there, but if you'd like and support that, I highly recommend checking out my course. It's linked up in the description below. And thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you so much. I'm gonna to continue to make different types of meditations on this YouTube channel, but I'm also gonna just be speaking my truth on how I can deliver these different mental fitness training tools to help you live a more enjoyable, fulfilled, and high performing life. So. Again, if you have any recommendations, definitely drop them in the comments below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Again, my name is Brandon Epstein. Thank you for being here with me, and I'll catch you in the next video.